everybody! I am back today with my beautiful friend Kristen, and I'm doing another hairstyle on her curly weave. It's not actually a weave, a curly head of hair. <laughs> it's all hers, I swear. Um, so today I am doing a Marilyn Monroe inspired hairdo. It's kind of similar to my 1950s Marilyn style, but it's on curly hair. So if you want to know how to get to this point where her hair is blow dried, blown dry, bl I don't know, beaded. Um, <laughs> Check out need that. <laughs> this video right here, and that will show you how to get to this point. And then from here, I'm going to show you how to do this beautiful Marilyn style. This is also another style on hair that does not have bangs, so I'm going to show you how to get that kind of whoosh, pretty Marilyn uh, swoop without having bangs. So let's get started. Okay, so for this, you will need pin curl clips, a teasing comb, a smoothing brush and a 3 quarters inch curling iron. If your hair has a hard time holding curl or if it's shorter than Kristen's, you can use a smaller barrel curling iron. Do not use a bigger bar barrel curling iron because you will not have vintage hair, you will have soft pretty waves. So basically, I'm just gonna start at the crown of her head and take about one inch sections, give them a comb, make sure you get all the ends in there, and then once you've got that curl, slide the curl off onto your finger. When I'm doing it on my own, it slides off onto my thumb, but obviously things are a little backwards when you're doing someone else's hair. And then roll it close to the base and give it ye old pinning. And that is your first pin curl. Now I'm going to do the same thing over her entire head of hair. So now you are at the point where you are going to take all the pins out of your hair. Make sure it's cool, depending on how thick your hair is. I always tell people, um, Kristen's actually cooled a little bit faster than mine does because my hair is a little bit thicker. Um, so just make sure that it is just all completely room temperature, especially the bottom parts because those are the parts where the curls are going to fall out faster. So take out your pins. Okay, so once all of your pins are out, you're going to take your teasing brush and first you're going to work on the bangs. So you're just going to tease sections of the bangs at the roots and you're going to tease on the inside of the hair. And don't tease too hard because you're going to want to smooth this out and if you tease too much it's just going to be a hot mess of rat nestiness. Wow, that was not even English. A lot of S's and S's and... <laughs> and you can give it a little spray in between if you want for longevity's sake. I'm not going to do it here because I'm going to be doing some styles after this, so I don't want to oversaturate her hair with spray. But depending on the texture of your hair, you can use spray if you need it. And you're done! <laughs> okay. So I'm actually going to just kind of brush out the rest of her hair in the meantime so that the rest of the style is done. Okay, so first you just want to kind of brush it out with your fingers so that you don't ruin the curl. <laughs> oh, yes. This is really strange for me because Kristen is my curly haired friend. So to see her with like vintage curls and not her normal curls is a departure. Kind of exciting. <laughs> so you just kind of want to brush the bottoms of the hair so they all kind of lay together. You want the curls to be uniform and not like curly sue curls or poodle curls. <clears throat> Blow drying the hair and then curling and pinning also helps hold the curl because you still have a little bit of moisture in your hair when you're doing the curling and once it cools it's cooled all that moisture out so it's going to hold the curl better too. This is also, you can do this if you don't have curly hair, it'll hold the curl better. You are such a vintage babe. <laughs> okay, so now you're just going to smooth the top layer of that teased hair. And you can put your part wherever is best for your head. You don't have to put it as far over. And you can actually, if it's too far, you can take some of the hair out. Just do what's right for your head. And you're just going to smooth that front layer. And you can use smoothing wax if you want. 
I prefer smoothing wax over hairspray, especially for curly hair because it's going to tame the frizziness. The hairspray is just going to kind of foster the frizziness. So take your comb like this and push the hair forward over the front of the comb so it creates a little swoop. And then on the other side, just arrange the curls. Whee! I need a swivel chair. And just smooth the tops, make sure you don't have any weird flyaways. When I do this style on my hair, I put a little bobby pin to anchor it in there to create the illusion of this curl, but when you have longer hair, it's actually easier to do. So, good on you. Yeah! Totally putting that in there. <laughs> okay, so once your hair is finished, let me look at it from the front, make sure. Oh, it's beautiful. Make sure you smooth your curls, make sure they're all laying together. And then you can take a flower and just stick it in on the side. And now you have a beautiful little Hawaiian <laughs> vintage girl with curly hair and that now is tamed vintage curly instead of crazy bushel of <laughs> So hopefully you guys liked this. Um, let me know what you think. And if you guys do have curly hair and you have any other tips or tricks or feedback for each other, be sure to leave them below. You guys can always interact with each other. I try to answer everything, but sometimes you answer them faster than I do. So. I um, hope that you like this. Keep watching and be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be doing victory rolls on curly hair next. And that seems to be some of the problems you guys are having. And also, she has no bangs, so victory rolls on a girl with no bangs. So, hope you guys are good and see you next time. <laughs>